What is going on guys, DBG here, and in this video we are going to be doing a game of NBA 2K20 My Team using the Donovan Mitchell Diamond card. So this is one of the new cards in NBA 2K20 My Team. If this video can hit, let's just say, 100 likes in the first hour, something simple, I will do a gameplay with the Brandon Ingram pink, actually no, I'll do, because I'm pretty sure everyone's going to get a Brandon Ingram pink diamond gameplay. Out very soon, I know. Um, Henry has the card, so he's gonna get that gameplay out quite soon. So check him out if you want to watch a gameplay with that card. But um, yeah, so the other card that I'm gonna be looking to do a gameplay with is Marcus Smart, who I think could be one of the most underrated cards in the game. So if we get 100 likes in the first hour, we'll do a Diamond Marcus Smart gameplay. But anyway, the team we're running with is Donovan Mitchell at the one, DeRozan at the two, Bird at the three, Odom at the four, and Porzingis at the five. Off the bench, we have Jason Terry at the one, Vince Carter at the two, Jason Tatum at the three, Hito Turkoglu at the four, and Hakeem at the five. With Rajon Rondo, Nikola Jokic, and Andrea Bargnani. That should not be how I'm rounding off the bench. Let's replace Bargnani with... We got point guard, two guard. So I can just any small forward, either Karolenko or Granger or Butler. Uh, sure, why not put in Karolenko? Um, yeah, so this is the team I'm going to be running with. Donovan Mitchell, as you guys may have saw from the video I posted a little bit earlier going over the stats, Donovan Mitchell has got eight Hall of Fame badges. He has got um, some really good ones, including Quick First Step, which is a really big one because the last Donovan Mitchell literally doesn't have... Um, he literally didn't have Quick First Step at all. Which is crazy. Like, the last Donovan Mitchell diamond was terrible. Like, that card was absolutely terrible. The last Donovan Mitchell card had got no clamps. He had no quick first step. He had no range extender. But his animations were great. This card has got clamps. He's got quick first step. He's got range extender. He's got quick draw. Like, I don't see this guy being, like, this absolutely unbelievable card. Because he doesn't have handles for days. He doesn't have tight handles. But I don't see him being a bad card either. He's going to be a really good defender and really good offensive player. The unfortunate thing is, is that, again, he didn't come in a moment of a week set, but I do actually have a feeling that we're going to be getting a moment of a week set next week. Or not next week, on Wednesday. So he has got 92 three-point shot, 96 mid, 95 driving dunk, which is really good. Post fadeaway, non-existent, but a good driving layup. He has got solid ball handling and passing stats, a great perimeter defense, great steal. He got great speed, speed, ball, and acceleration. Great lateral quickness as well. And his tendencies, he has got a dunk tendency of 100, which is good. So yeah, Donovan Mitchell should be a pretty good card. Anyway, now it's gone to the hot zones and release for Donovan Mitchell. Then we're getting on to the game. So Donovan Mitchell has got hot zones pretty much everywhere at, uh, or three spots has at three pretty much everywhere inside the three. And Mitchell's release is really good. Like, don't get me wrong. This is a really, really good release. Uh, and we actually have to spend a lot of empty on new kits because the Atlanta Hawks kits um, have kind of like got two colors on them. So if we do come up against someone who is cheesing us with a wide away kit as someone who's colorblind, or like a really light color away kit, we kind of need some colors to differentiate it. So these kids cost us a lot of empty because I don't yet have uh, on my new account, I don't yet have the ability to um, customize my own kit. But uh, yeah, so Donovan Mitchell, pretty good release by the looks of it here. Going to the basket. Okay, he's going to be quite a good dunker. And as we saw from the stats, he's going to be a really good defender. So yeah, he's going to be a decent dribbler. Obviously, not the best in the world because, again, doesn't have unpluckable tight handles or handles for days. So, realistically, you're not going to be seeing like what most people do and literally just spam behind the back dribble, go into the three point shot. Like, you're not going to be able to see him doing that because he's not going to be able to counter it. Like, like one behind the back and he's going to be tired. So, he's not going to be able to counter that into much. So, yeah, should be quite a good card. Comp level, I don't think so. But you know what? Not all cards are meant to be comp level. And. He is definitely going to be more than usable in this game. So anyway, now it's just green one more three. And come on. Now let's get on to the game. Okay, so we are coming up against Gilbert Arenas, who's going to be quite a tough matchup here. Team Aguilari, Giannis, and Jokic. So this is going to be a good team here we're up against. Here we go. Oh, it's a bad shot. Bore Porzingis into the corner. Oh, Giannis can cover everything. Oh my god. Giannis can literally go from the basket. Like, if Giannis is, like, on the opposite side of the floor, he somehow seems to be able to literally cover, like, the three-point line and the rim at the same time. It is ridiculous how much space Giannis can cover in this game. I've never seen anything like that in a 2K before. Okay, let's go. Okay, it's a bad attempt at the explosive. He's too tired for it, is he? 
Let's go pick and pop. Hit Larry, wide open, green light. Got passed there by Mitchell. Okay, we got him with the explosive. Don't get a step on him. He catches up and we miss the layup. Okay. Obviously, me and Iso Ball don't go very well together. So, pick and pops again, it is. And a legal screen by Chris Dabbs. Come on. All right, so we have not started off the best match. To be fair, we also got one assist. We only down one point. And he seems to have done an all right job on defense. Just to say that he gets burned. Curse to the commentator. That was me getting burned more than anything, I'd say. We're there. We predicted wrong on that one. That's a good shot. Kick the shooter. Three. Green light. Let's go. Tie game off two assists for Mitchell. Hasn't scored yet, but he's done a good job passing. That's two points. Nothing we can do. Yeah, let's go move. Like, why won't Porzingis set screens going towards the middle anymore? I don't understand it. Hey, look at that. Like, why is he setting screens going towards the baseline? There's nothing to be gained from that. Actually, there were, why? Like, I'm trying to change it, and he even still sets the screen towards the baseline. Good move right there by Mitchell. There we go. That's his first two points. He's going to attack baseline. No one attacks middle with Giannis. Good pass. Good shot. Green. Oh, well. Not a great start to the game right here. You know, a terrible start either. Like, Stop setting screens going towards the baseline. Bang, bang. Okay, that's a sell. Can't be missing them shots. Can't be not green that, that open and look. And we did as good a job as we could have in that situation. We have let him shoot 100% so far here. We got finally a screen going the right way. Snatch back into deep three. Not a good release. Mitchell can't hit it. Not a good start to this game by Don for Mitchell. And that is green. This guy literally has not missed a shot. You know what? When you're being outplayed, stop setting screens going baseline. Please, please, Porzingis, stop setting screens that way. There is no benefit to you doing that. I actually have to get the ball out of his hands. He's going. Oh my god, what, what the hell's gone wrong? Why is it, like, that was one thing 2K did well this year. They actually set your screen, like, your default was to set screens towards the basket. Why am I setting screens towards the baseline? By the way, good shot, Chris Taps. That's a sell. Should have greened that. Strip, 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 strip. That's moving. No way, that's, you're kidding. You're kidding, I missed a wide open fade and then that goes in. To the basket. Good defense by him. That's the better finish there by Lamar Odom. Okay, he's out here with Marcus Smart. He's going to clamp up Mitchell. So two points is not a great start by Mitchell, but... To be fair, he's just... He's a really good card. I'm just playing he's a good opponent. And he misses that one. That's a sell. That's a wide open shot. Bye, bye. Green. Right back in this game to end the quarter. White open Karolinko, green. Big shot there by him. Let's go. We are back to a two point, uh, back, made this a two point game again. Snatch back, green. We take the lead. Let's go. I'm playing re I'm playing well here. My opponent's a good player, so. I like to talk about any lead at this stage is good. He plays NASCAR, we play terrible defense. That is good off the leaner. Bang, bang. Green from Hito. Let's go. Okay, we now have a four-point lead. Like, I'm not saying we're comfortable, but to be fair, we've shot really well. That's the only reason I'm ahead. He hasn't shot well, and I have shot well. And they go right down, hit a shot they shouldn't have hit. Bully ball. Bully ball. Right in. Good block. All right, so we are up by one. They have the ball. Um, This has been a good game. It's a good game. It's a really good game. Like, this guy's good, and his team is definitely better than mine, so... I'll be hap happy if I get the win here. Do I think I'm... That's a white. Come on. Do I think I'm better than this guy? Yes. Do I think I'm much better? No. So, pretty much anything can happen. Deny, deny, deny. Oh, that's a risky pass. Came off, though. Wow, that was a risky play right there. Oh, fair play to him. It worked. Pick to the corner. Two bad release. Why can he hit whites? And I, well, to be fair, I hit enough whites to start the game. Like, he's on, like... He hit, like, two or three in this quarter, and he goes into 44% contested white. Like, 
Like, come on. I hit a wide open white off a Hall of Fame Dimer pass. He hits a 44% uh, contested white. I know what he's planning on doing. And he's got exactly what he wanted there. It's a white. Come on. That's five whites he's hit in a row. This guy's good. He doesn't need whites. And we missed that one, don't we? Yeah, of course we missed that one. Of course we do, because this game is not even. Okay, finally. Finally he has the quarter and a missed white. But, like, come on. We... <laughs> like, fair enough. Like, I was missing whites. I was hitting whites from mid. I wasn't hitting whites from three. Like, this is a... This game is an absolute joke. This isn't the... This is... Like, this is not a test of skill. Who can make the most mistimed shots? Like, when two even close to evenly matched players play against each other, it's literally who makes the most bad shots. Good. Green. Big shot there. Let's go. Going to the press to see what, uh... See how he reacts to it anyway. It's when you're getting hit by white after white after white. That's when you can, you can justifiably complain about this game. Corner. Need this. White. We have not hit a white since the first quarter. Whether that be three or mid. And they go on green that moving shot. Fair play. They're out. They can't miss. Whether it's a white or whether it's a green, they cannot miss. Well, we cannot hit a shot, white or green. Bye bye. Green. I was about to say we can't hit a green. No, we can't hit a green. We can't hit a shot unless it's a green. But then again, like. Okay, is this guy go? No, he's here. But there's always going to be stages in games where every shot you take is good and every shot they take misses. So I just got to play through this a spell like this. And eventually they're going to start missing. That's a half bar moving shot. There we go. Hopefully that's the first of them. First of many misses. Bang, bang. Oh my god, Giannis. Giannis can guard five players at once. Which that. No way. No way. No way. Straight into the hands of Larry. I'm oh, Mitchell. Six points right here. Man, this is a... Again, this is just showing what he's like in an actual game. He's not a bad card by any means. He's just... Kind of outclassed. Like, Gilbert straight up outclasses him. Green light there by Vince. Let's go. We need greens because we're not hitting whites. And they half bar it. They half bar another three. <laughs> like, like, you know what? There's sometimes you just gotta say it's 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 just not your day. It's just not your day, and this is one of those one of those games where there's not much more I could do. i like he's releasing the ball terribly, I'm releasing the ball significantly better. And yet Oh my god, give the ball to the guy who's open! There's nothing I can do there. That's literally just Hito wide open in the corner and the game deciding they didn't want to pass to him. Bang, bang. Big shot there by Rondo. That's a tire. That's a bad release. Okay, thank God. I thought that was going to go in. Corner. No, not on. Not on. To be fair though, if he'd actually thrown the ball to where he was standing in the corner, something might happen there. Okay, we got him. Please, Vince, draw fail or make the layup. That'll do as well. I wasn't the best option there. I thought I was literally hope, praying for just a, foul, a drawn foul there. But uh, yeah, we're coming back into this a little bit. Bad release. That's another white. You are kidding me. You're kidding me. Like I would be perfectly fine losing this game if this guy was greening everything. But he's greening literally nothing. Well, not literally nothing. He's greening pretty much nothing. Like, to be honest, like in 2020, the word literally doesn't even mean literally anymore. Like... Oh no, I topped square and was trying to kick the heat on. He took the shot. That's unlucky. That happens. That's a great shot. Like 34% contested. That moving, that's a really difficult shot to green. Uh, we didn't get that off in time, did we? Nope. So yeah, um, the luck just has not gone our way. So um, unfortunately, we're down 13. Probably going to lose this game. And like, look, this is one of those games where... This guy, I can could easily have been up 13 going into the fourth. Um, I also could quite easily have been down by more than this. So, look, if I wasn't playing well, I'd be down by 25. Um, and if this guy wasn't hitting every single white he puts up, I'd be up 13. So, that's the only way I got to look at this. 
two things like I'm playing well, which is why I'm still in this game. But this guy is he has hit through three quarters pretty much every white he's put every shot he's put up, white or green. So green, big shot. Like the only reason we're in this game is because I feel like I'm playing really well right now. Okay, attack him hard. Attack hard off there, see if we can get the dunk. Draws the fell. Alright, he got something out of it anyway. Let's see if we can get double digits with Donovan Mitchell. He is well and truly outclassed. He is just, like, he's not a bad card. And I don't think he's necessarily had a bad game. He is just out, straight up outclassed. And we left team like wide open. I don't know what, like, I'm not even bothered at this stage. I'm not even focusing. Um, this is game over, but... Surely with Hall of Fame quick first step, I should have had a step on that. Oh, managed to somehow get open there. Green from Donovan Mitchell, who has broke the 10 point barrier in a miracle. Good defense. There we go. It's a pity half the time we play good defense, stuff like that's happened. You know what? Uh, fair play to my opponent, he played a good game. I just wish it was even on who made I wish white makes were even. Big mid-range shot there by Donovan Mitchell. This game would be, would have been a lot closer. Anyway. They step right. Like, look at that. <laughs> look at that. I just... I'm just laughing now because it's just gotten so ridiculous. The amount of ridiculous whites this guy's made. Burn him. Straight to the basket. No help there. Easy dunk there by Mitchell. So he's actually came in at a good fourth quarter here. Manages to get space to the basket, and Mitchell makes a layup. Hey, he's had a really good fourth quarter here. Gonna lie, he's done well. After starting off very badly through three. Good move there by T-Mac. Yeah, I definitely need T-Mac back. I definitely need to get T-Mac back in the squad. Oh, wide up. Green there by Mitchell on the break. Good shot. And I green the fade away, but it doesn't count, so... So in the end, Mitchell, 8 of 13, 2 of 5 from 3, was minus 9 on the floor. Um, however, it was even in the fourth quarter with with 14 points, which is not bad at all. Like, 2 points in the first quarter, 1 of 4. 2 points in the first half. In the third quarter, he had 4, 2 of 3. In the fourth quarter, 5 of 6. So, actually had a Riga game after quite a poor fourth quarter. But, uh, yeah, like... Considering the fact that I feel like I greened more threes than he did, he did. He shot 61%. He had 20 of them. 33, um, 20 of 33. And of those 20, I'm guessing seven were greens. He was shooting 50% on whites in the game, which should not happen. And I'd say of my 13 makes, probably eight or nine, maybe 10 were threes. So like that's, that was kind of difference in the game. But look, close game, fair play to my opponent. And again, I'm not too fussed to win or lose at this stage Mitchell had an all right game in the end so anyway that is the video Donovan Mitchell is a good card do not get me wrong this is a good card it's just outclassed like the fact that one dribble move his stamina is almost gone going to the basket renders the dunk nowhere near as good as it should be I felt like Rondo did a better job in that game like he's a good card if he's around the 40 50 kmt he's going to be a good card but he's straight up outclassed if you're talking about elite point guards, he is just straight about class. He's no D Rose, he's no Baron Davis, he's no um, Gilbert Arenas. He is a good, good card, but he's not elite. But anyway, that's the video. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.